Hello everyone, this is Steven from the Even Steven channel, and today we're going to take a look at my only AR-15 in the collection. I know i got a lot of lever guns, a lot of revolvers, pistols, I don't have a whole lot of uh, modern tactical rifles. This is my one AR-15 from HD Defense, called the Genesis Rifle, I think it's called the Revelation Rifle now. Right off the bat, let me just congratulate or acknowledge HD Defense for this is the the bag the gum came in. It came in, didn't come in a cardboard box. It came in a usable bag that I keep it in. You know, they they just stuck this patch on, but it came in that. And I, I complain all the time about these relatively expensive guns coming in these cheap, flimsy cardboard boxes. So let's open this up. Ah, we got a rifle, a well used rifle. Get this bag out of the way. Bring this tripod down a little bit. What do we have here? Now, this is my personal AR-15. This is what I use. Uh, pretty much the only rifle I have left, the AR-15 I have left. I'll go through the specs in a second. Make sure it's unloaded. A light does not really show it, but it is. You gotta trust me on that one. This is made from a, from a smaller company in Mechanicsburg, Pennsylvania called HC Defense. And I was a little hesitant to show this rifle on camera because this really isn't like an off-the-shelf gun. This was more or less custom made for me by the people there. I got friendly with one or two of the customers, uh, employees. So I got friendly with one of the employees. And we went back and forth. And he was saying, you know, I, you know, we can make a rifle just because anyone else. And uh, I kind of took them up on it and I went back and forth and, and they made the rifle I wanted. So it's a little bit of a... Of a custom job nothing all that special about it but it's personalized for me and if you look up this company HD Defense I'm gonna say their website is just a little bit lacking good guys I've met I've met a bunch of them good guys but I would say the website is a little bit lacking to kinda of describe it, what exactly you can get from them Uh, they're they're kind of I don't say custom shop. They're kind of smaller outfit. You can order stuff directly from them. Tell them what you want. They'll make it for you. Or they uh, have a bunch of dealers in Delaware and Pennsylvania that will retail their their rifles. And maybe that's a, a better way of kind of getting one easier. So enough of that. Let's talk about my rifle. We'll go back to front. Well, first of all, we got this cheaper. M6. This is like an authentic M16 sling. You know, this is you can actually get an M16 M4 sling. They're not very complicated or hard to get. This is an M16 sling. This is a Magpul carbine stock. I don't think it came with this. This is a rubber extension to make it a little, little more like the pull. So we got the Magpul FD car carbine stock, Magpul grip, Magpul uh, vertical grip, the upper receiver upper receiver, lower receiver, rail have been Cerakoted FDE, which kind of matches the whole gun. It's just a slightly different color. And I like it. I like it. War, Peace, Revelation 20. Uh, a lot of it is kind of standard AR-15. You know, you have the forward assist that doesn't do all that much. Standard charging handle. Kind of an upgraded magazine release. Standard ejection port. They actually asked me if I wanted like the 15 inch rail. It kind of comes all the way almost to the end. I didn't like care for that. This is the 12 inch uh, rail. Move it back around. This is most likely a standard safety. Trigger may be upgraded. Honestly, I'm not a big Air 15 guy. I don't know. 
steel quality, I don't know, barrel quality. I just know this gun shoots. On top we got a burst, uh, low power variable optic LPVO. The burst prepper scope. This is like a $300 deal from Cabela's. We got the scope in the mount for $300. Mini review of the scope. It's pretty good. One to six. Has illuminated reticle. Uh, I like it. It's pretty heavy. That's the only downside of it. It had this little like lever that you would use to kind of give yourself leverage to move this back and forth to, to move the magnification dial. It has since come off. I don't know if it's lit off this way. I don't know. It's gone. Uh, cheapo quick detach sling. Cheapo Amazon light. Uh, looking at the HD Defense website, they're currently advertising a 1 in, one in 7 uh, barrel twist and 223 wild. And if people don't know, and I'm not an expert on a lot of things, 223 wild is intermediary between 556 and 223. It's kind of in between the two chamberings. So you can use either one interchangeably without having to worry about it. And that's that. See, maybe take a look at the bolt real quick. Let's see, I'm gonna take a look at the bolt. I think I'm supposed to have the bolt all the way forward. Doing that off camera. Popping out the pins. Now I just finished a rifle class. So let's see how this looks. A 300 round rifle class. The website advertises this as a M16 bolt and they have like MPI something something. I don't know. MPI. You can check the website for specification. You can ask them. Uh, but this is dirty. This is going to need a cleaning. I'm wearing gloves because my fingers have all these cuts on them and I thought it would be a little distracting. Mini review. Uh, tractor supply. Rich cut gloves. Pretty good. I prefer them over the Mechanics Fast Fit. They just feel a little better in my hands. So, uh, pretty good for like $10, $12. I like them. And why is this not going all together? Bolt was slightly out. Ah, there we go, back together. I'm gonna do some safety concerning this. Lock that bolt back. Now this is a gun I've had for about two years. I got it on in February of 2020. If you actually go on the H Defense Facebook page, um, February 2020, this will be on the on the Facebook page. So it's, it is on there. So that's, that was pretty cool. I've had it for about two years. It wasn't really all that serious about it until last week when I took it to a rifle class. And because I did take it to that class and it performed very well, I thought I'd talk about it. So pretty much no malfunctions out of the gun. The only, the only thing close to a problem this rifle gave me is, for some reason, the magazine release. I was having trouble actuating that magazine release. Now, I took this class last week in Pennsylvania. If you didn't know, last week Pennsylvania, it was snowing. It was snowing during the class, and the gun performed very well considering it was literally being snowed on. I think some snow or some dirt got in here. Um, otherwise, it performed uh, pretty flawlessly. We did a little bit of zeroing with the rifles before we uh, went, to sh went to do the class. Because of this you know, LPVO, I could adjust this. I adjusted the 3X. We were sighting at 50 yards. That's the sighting uh, range, uh, sighting distance that the instructor preferred, sighting at 50 yards, and I was able to get about a one inch group at 50 yards. I thought it was pretty good. Considering I don't shoot distance very often, even some people consider that not shooting distance. Usually I just shoot 25 yards. Now the reason this rifle doesn't get used as much as it should. But I thought one inch group at 50 yards, considering I have a uh, uh, minimal amount of experience with rifles. I was like, I thought it was pretty good. I thought it was pretty good. So I had zero malfunctions out of the rifle. 
looks dirty. The only thing close to a problem was the magazine release, which I think was getting full of dirt or mud, or that's not dirt or snow. Now, otherwise, the rifle performed very well. Um, very soft shooting. Um, I think very accurate, no problems. Forgot to mention, if I didn't mention, this is a 16 inch barrel, uh, and this is actually a linear compensator as per New Jersey law. I'm not allowed a flash hider, but this is a linear compensator, and for some reason, uh, it's legal. I don't know, and it's permanently attached to this rifle. So between that and the uh, non-adjustable stock, that is how this is New Jersey legal. And these are 10 round magazines. And I think that just looks super handsome. I just love that. I just love how that looks. I love the FDU coloration. So I think that's gonna do it. Uh, I think it's accurate, I think it's reliable, I think it's durable. I have about a thousand rounds to it so far. Took to a rifle course, performed as well as could be expected. And um, I know the prices have gone up since I've bought mine. Uh, it's unfortunate. I wish everyone could have gotten for the price I got it two years ago, but it's not the case. But uh, it is what it is. You know, people got to charge a certain amount of money to get paid. Things cost money, inflation, all that craziness. Uh, prices have gone up. I, I think even there, there seem to be retailing about twelve hundred dollars inside stores. You know, for the, the people who are their dealers, you know, they're they're selling to stores, and the stores are retailing them for about twelve hundred dollars. And I think they're they're that's probably about right. That's what most people are charging for similar products. And I think that is pretty much going to do it. Uh, I really wish I had a little more expertise, and maybe in the future, if I get a little bit more into AR-15s, I can give you more things like barrel quality and bolt quality and the aluminum used to make the low receiver and the upper receiver and steels and all that stuff and really good accuracy tests. But unfortunately, uh, I am not getting paid for this. This is something I do for fun. But from what I can see, the HD Defense AR-15s are a, fan a fantastic pro uh, product. Even for the slightly more, you know, more than budget cost they come for, but I think that for the price, uh, they are an excellent rifle that compete very well with a lot of uh, better known products. So if you want, give them a look. If you want to shop a couple of the stores they're featured in, take a look there. But yeah, definitely recommended HD Defense ARFT. I think called they were called the Genesis. Now it's like the Revelation. Uh, naming schemes aside. There are guns. So this will be Steven from the Even Steven channel. Please do all that like, share, and subscribe. And leave some more comments. If you have any questions, put them in the comments. I'll try to answer them the best I can. And I will see you next time. Thank you and goodbye.